Hello. A quick video today about the modification to a very useful piece of uh, kit for electronic equipment servicing. Modern electronic equipment, and that's to say most equipment made in the last 25 years or so, is all too often plagued by the failure of electrolytic type capacitors. These may be conventionally installed capacitors, uh, like these with leads that go through holes on the PCB, so they're called through hole mounting, or they may be surface mount components. When they fail, they will typically either lose capacitance, going down to some value way below their proper specification, and or they will develop a, a high effective series resistance, or ESR. This means electrically they appear to have a resistor in series with the capacitor. Using a multimeter to measure the capacitance will not tell you enough about the performance of capacitor, so you need to test for ESR. Here's a really useful tool for doing just that. This is a slightly older model. The same manufacturer now makes a new one with extra features and performance. So this is the Peak Electronics Atlas ESR60, and it's now been superseded by the very similar ESR70 Plus model. You can test a capacitor by removing it from the circuit and connecting with these crocodile clips to the leads. But a huge time-saving feature is that you can often test a capacitor when it's still in the circuit. How well this works depends a lot on the circuitry which surrounds the capacitor, but often you can get a pretty good measurement to determine if you need to remove a capacitor. Personally, I find the best way to uh, connect to a component in circuit is to add these short, very sharp test probes to the crocodile clips and then I can go on to the PCB. But there's a problem. If you are holding the two probes on a capacitor for test then you run out of hands to press the uh, test button on the machine. New firmware on the ACR70 Plus model has made this less of an issue because it will wait a while while you connect the capacitor, though you could still have a situation where the ESR70 Plus is powered down when you want to make a measurement. Press the button please, Scott. Excellent, thank you. OK, I could call in my helpful assistant Scott to press the button for me, but that's not always practical. I've seen a modification where you press a button on a cable which you can hold with the test probes, but I still think that's fiddly. So instead, I've decided to repurpose an old foot switch which was used with a dictation machine. I rewired it so that it just has a simple push to make operation and a jack plug on the end of a long wire. Handily, the ESR60 has a cutout on the left hand side through which a small cable can be fitted, and then I fitted a jack socket on the end of that for connection to the foot pedal cable. I followed the traces from the test button on the ESR60. One side goes to ground and the other side goes through a wire on the underside of the PCB, so I can connect my remote control cable to that wire and also to ground. There's a second button which powers the ESR60 off. In theory I could have connected a second switch on my foot pedal to the off button, but since the unit powers itself down after a few seconds anyway, I decided the extra wiring couldn't really be justified. Here you can see the ESR60 being operated now by the foot pedal, making for a much easier operation when you have a lot of capacitors to test. I would highly recommend one of these ESR meters if you do any amount of electronic servicing. I hope this look at ESR testing has been interesting. Please do share, like and above all subscribe and so I can do more YouTube videos in the future about electronic uh, audio and video technology. Bye for now.